Hello there, my name's Robert Dean Steele, and today we're going to be looking at, of course, the, the name Jehovah Shalom, which means, of course, the Lord is our peace. Now, it's interesting that actually it was uh, the... Um, it was Gideon who learned that the Lord is the peace. Now, of course, Gideon was well known for the fact that he was an individual who uh, went to warfare against the Midianites. And the interesting thing about him was the fact that the Lord brought about, um, you know, victory through a young man. He called him a mighty man of valor even before he had done it. Now, the beautiful thing about our relationship with God is that we can have peace. And we have discovered that absence of, you know, inner conflict and warfare because we found the Prince of Peace. Jesus said, peace I give to, the, to you, not as the world gives do I give you. But he says, I give you today that peace that passes all understanding. And it fills our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. So today, Lord, what we're praying today is that you will be Jehovah Shalom, our peace. A lot of people out there don't have peace. And they need that peace today. And so, Lord, today we're going to receive that peace. We're going to allow that peace to flow into our life situation. And we're going to thank you, Lord, that you are, of course, Jehovah Shalom, our peace. And Lord, right now in this moment, we're not only praying for peace, but we're also praying for Jehovah Sidkenu, the Lord is our righteousness. Now, it was Isaiah that wrote, we're all unclean things. But it says in 1 Corinthians 1.30, Jesus Christ became our righteousness. Lord, it's great to know that you cover us with a robe of righteousness. And you also as well, Lord, give us that peace that passes all understanding. Boy, do we need it today. Boy, do we need, Lord, that wonderful peace that, you know, passes all understanding and fills our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Lord, we need that vital abiding peace peace, that wonderful righteousness. I remember years ago watching a, uh, a illustration with Jerry Seville, and he was a, a, a younger man and a, a little smaller than, uh, but he asked one of the men of his audience to bring him his suit coat. And he put that suit coat on and it looked absolutely huge on him. He says, but in time, he says, through the reading of the Bible, through the practice of prayer, and also as well, putting on the righteousness of God, we will grow into the Lord our righteousness. And Lord, we need that today because we can't get this thing through our own righteousness. We need to be clothed with your righteousness. And we need your peace in our lives today because Lord, we know that there's a toxicity. There is a propaganda. There is an agenda of evil that would love to overwhelm us and to also, Lord, take away our victory. But right now, in the name of Jesus, thank you that you are Jehovah Shalom. And thank you that, Lord, you are our righteousness. Jeremiah talked about it. Isaiah talked about it. Jesus talked about it. Paul talked about it. We have that robe of righteousness. Lord, thank you today for that breastplate of righteousness that protects our hearts. Thank you, Lord, for the peace that passes all understanding that we are receiving right now in the name of Jesus. And that, Lord, we're going to make sure that it is part of our daily situation, our hourly situation, our moment-by-moment -moment situation. Father, when we don't have the peace, when we have that internal conflict and warfare, we're going to claim the Prince of Peace. We're going to claim Jehovah Shalom. And when we feel overwhelmed, Lord, and a little, you know, stained by the world, we're going to claim that you are Jehovah, our righteousness. Thank you for all of these things, and we ask it now in Jesus' name we pray. Amen.